Greetings, friends. Stephen here. With me again is co-host Brendan. Hello. And welcome to our uh, Cherry Bomb Toys Toy Fair video. Um, we've actually <laughs> we just got out of the place, but um, we just thought we'd shoot this uh, quick intro. We'll be uh, wandering around, checking out assorted tables, uh, local people doing their thing, and buying <laughs> things. We bought I bought T-shirts and games. Brendan bought games, and uh, yeah. So uh, let's check out the Toy Fair. Toys very own toy fair at Perp Serena. It is busy here. There's an Optimus Prime. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> we will keep an eye out for cosplayers for uh, Street Pass lights. Uh, a wham shell for Brendan here. A freaking alien. I love it. So we met him yeah, on there. We gotta get rid of the gloves on. Totally. Are you the alien queen? No, you're not the queen. Okay. I would have been offended if a guy was the queen. <laughs> I don't mean that in any. Uh, any there you go. <laughs> there we go. No. Trypticon, can't go wrong. Candies. Girls gonna need it back here. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, he's a guy. He's got folks so they can see the tail and stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I've seen too much. Moving on. Optimus Prime. No touching. No touching. Any many transformers. So I find this aisle here is usually the best one. It's the first one. Transformer places. Oh, this guy looks pretty cool. I want wings for shoulders. How does that even work? Little baby ones. Yeah. I find a lot of these random tables just old things too. Beavis mask. Ninja turtle mask. Radical. Don Kello. Mogwise. Brandon, have you seen Gremlins? No. Seriously? Seriously. You should watch Gremlins, Brandon. Especially Gremlins, too. Oh, you got My Pet Monster. Can't go wrong. You see My Pet, Ma have you seen My Pet Monster yet, Brandon? Yeah. Oh, okay, there you go. But I Pretty busy. You getting hot yet, Brandon? I told you won't need a jacket. I don't know what that is, but I like it. Fabulous print. It's got buttons and everything. Video game. It's like one of the first wrestling games ever. Twelve bucks. Okay. Final Fantasy. Now 
How's your uh, Super Nintendo collection coming along? I still only have two games. Well, that just means you play those two games that much more than any other game. Nice. Problem here is even if you find good deals, if you have them already, it's just like, but it doesn't matter. Transformers. You'll see more transformers than anything else here, I reckon. Oh, sweet. Is that the brain gremlin? Loving it. Yeah. If I had money to burn, I'd be all over that. I'm touching it. <laughs> Check out the crap and you go by. More transformers. Super Nintendas. Mm. Anything good? All kind of expensive. Can't go wrong with Mega Man. Always expensive though. Yeah. It's more of the gems. I don't have this yet. This is a great game. Battle Toads. How much is that? In the box. Which means it'll be overpriced. Dragon. Yeah. Brandon, have you played Double Dragon Neon yet? No. Damn it, man. I swear, it's my game of the year. I know people like the Walking Dead game, but it's time. Not much time. Not much oh. time. Better go. Baller. Uh-oh. Team Crowder. So we saw, we saw one costume so far. I might as well get my shirt on this camera here. What up? Hey, do mine too. Soundwave t-shirt, best shirt here. Brandon's shirt, what is your shirt? It's Schrodinger's cat. It's a zombie cat, like uh, zoom into this part. No. <laughs> Damn. That thing creeps me out, stupid Schrodinger. Why does he hate cats so much? So that's usually the silent auction area in the back. <laughs> oh sweet, people line up for you. Does the Green Lantern have a heroic pose? There you go. Yeah, there, that's it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Nice. I'm gonna know that girl over there. Oh, we got a zombie. Ah! Dude, I missed filming the zombie walk. I was so crestfallen when I realized it was that day. Harry Platypus, the most recognizable one in there. More recognizable Yeah. It's the coloring, I think. There's no other creature I can think of with that kind of coloring. Boba Fitz. Fun solo. Quick product placement. Cube dudes. These things are pretty cool. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Victoria's Ultimate Hobby and Toy Fair. Thanks so much for braving the weather to come to the toy show today. Uh, this it was has been the first there. time in our 10 show history that it has ever And on top of that, we're also giving away from Railhead this amazing die-cast car. Railhead has a booth at the back of the arena, yeah. so you can go and visit them back there. That's a pretty and we big. also have a fabulous store located on Pandora. Oh, there's Gaston. The winner of that one is VIP ticket number 99. <laughs> oh, alien guy, you cracked me up.
raffle tickets and they'll call the numbers out and you might win something. I don't think I've ever won anything. Oh, dude, this is one of my favorite tables right here. Yeah. This guy was here the last time. Pretty tough, they expect, right? Affordable price for the game. F zero, Brendan. What? Hey, how's it going? Yoshi's Island. Double Dragon. Two Super Bugs. I thought it was a rare game. It's always so hard to hear what she's saying on the. <laughs> yeah, it's so muffled. There's uh, a lot more dudes cosplaying than ladies. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, Soundwave t shirt. Nice. At the mammoth. $15. Be right back. So we've got uh, two t-shirts I'm going to grab. We've got one Gremlins shirt, one uh, Robotech shirt, both uh, large. And what, what is your store then? Cavity? The Cavity Curiosity Shop. All right. Where are you guys located? 5566B Pandora. Now these are a deal of uh, 2 for 25. So uh, what uh, what else do you guys sell at this store? We sell uh, lots of junk sculptures made from <laughs> found objects. Right on. Tons of books, ghetto blasters, cross sets, <laughs> <laughs> and local music like Honey Thou. This is a new comic that just came out. Right it's on. got uh, by Sean Brooks, local artist. Cool. And it comes with a CD. Tapes, books, games. <laughs> Pretty much everything we see here and more. Yeah. Good to everything. Board games. Yeah, right on. Thanks very much. Pro tip, Brandon, make sure you're recording when you push the button. <laughs> this is what? Sky Haven Games. Uh, <laughs> ooh, creepy. Yeah, these move by brain waves of some sort. How do you really know they're responding to your actual brainwaves, that they're not just moving randomly? <laughs> because no one would spend $200 for a game like that. They came up with tail versions too. Yeah, I've seen that. I like the cat ears. A friend of a friend of mine has them. Yeah. It's not for me, but you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, for sure. for sure. Are these all the t-shirts you guys have? We have a lot more on the top. Yeah. Sky Even Games. And have anything you'd want to say for uh, the store? Any advertisements? Um, just come down to Sky Even Games for Plaza. Right on, right on. Yeah. Those, uh, Mr. Tubbs, are they good neighbors? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Last time I was there, they weighed the amount of ice cream that they gave me. <laughs> it was bizarre. I don't know about that. Apparently people complain if they don't get nearly the perfect amount of ice cream. Yeah. It's a neat store though. At least you know that you're getting your what you need for the Yeah, really. Right on. Uh oh, Primal Rage toys. I love that Primal Rage had toys at all. Good for them. Hey, 
Hey, comic books. <laughs> I remember those. Oh, yeah. Arguably Victoria's number one comic book store. Yellow Jacket, it's pretty good, but they're more for like cards. Card games. There used to be a comic book store in Market Square. That place is pretty cool. I think they still have a graphic on the window. Man, I can't believe Market Square just goes to waste like it does. Seems like it'd be an awesome place. Uh, oh, we missed it. <laughs> Green tights, black club. It was Robin. Yeah. I don't think it was the Robin, but you know. And this is where the uh, you come if you win something. I don't know if anyone won anything. All right, we just did the loop. That's where we started. Lucene, Lucene, focus. Lucene, we're all over focus. here. Okay. There we go. Go box. I didn't know they had boxes that big for go box. What looks to be jet fire, possibly? Maybe not. Maybe. G.I. Joe. Brandon, what toys did you like when you were growing up? Uh, I like Dragon Ball Z toys. Dragon Ball Z toys. I was a G.I. Joe kid. So, I don't know. I don't remember watching any of these shows, but I know I had lots of G.I. Joes, lots of Ninja Turtles. Not a lot of Transformers. I had some Ninja Turtles. Whoa. So Brendan's bought a couple of uh, Super Nintendo games. I bought, oh, Brendan, buy this phaser. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Technodrome. Brendan's a hater. G.I. <laughs> Joe. I just gave all my G.I. Joes away. Now they're all like worth monies. Oh, nice. For some reason, I can't find the Creo Transformers anywhere, but here they are. How much are these going for? Five hmm. dollars. Could be cool. I hate the random assortment, though. I don't know. You could actually look it out online for the phone. Yeah. But I don't know which ones are those. But they do have different numbers at the bottom. Mm -hmm. There's six of them. Yeah, pro tip. If you like these things, look at the codes basically, on the internet. Yeah, basically, the figure you can change it to the vehicle. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's very cool. What else we got? Is that Optimus again? Kind of empty over there. There's a lot of merchandise for that Godzilla remake. And it all shows up in this place. I don't know. Mm. What do we got here? All right, I think we've seen all this before now. Let's uh, I'm gonna turn this off, but we'll turn it back on if anything else interesting shows up.